Hi Booktube, I'm here today with a review of Sula by Toni Morrison. Um, this is the first Toni Morrison book I've ever read and I think it's possibly lesser known than some of the other ones like I think there's The Bluest Eye and Beloved. Um, I can't remember, I think I heard about this on one of Mariella Frostrup's radio shows on Radio 4 talking about books and it was a recommended read. Um, so I'd had it on my shelves for a while, um, thought that now was the time to read it. I read it in one sitting because it's, it's only about 170 pages or so. Um, cut the edition I've got is beautiful but I think this is a slightly older edition because I have had it so long. Um, but this is set um, over a period of time um, in Ohio in America. And it's sort of like um, around the time of the First World War, right up to the 60s. Um, and Sula is a girl who grows up in this town. Um, and her friend Nell, they grow up at the same time, but they're both very, very different. Um, Nell grows up to have the traditional female life of getting married, having children, those sorts of things. But Sula's um, life and upbringing sort of lead her to down a different path. Um, and she's quite promiscuous in her behaviour. Um, there's an incident that happens with them both as a child that you can see the way um, they both spin off and do the, the path that they, they take, the path that they take. Um, and then the story picks up again when Sula comes back to the town and has an impact on Nell. Um, there's quite a lot of disturbing um, scenes and images in this book. There are elements of child neglect and some child abuse and sexual exploitation. Um, but overall, it's so beautifully written. Um, it's a thin book, but Toni Morrison packs so much into just a few pages. It's, it's, it's the things that she doesn't write are possibly more important than the things that she does write because the, the spare bit of writing that you get, just that sparsity of beautiful prose leaves so much unsaid but you, she knows it but and what she doesn't say it's all there for you to feel, to see in your head, for you to imagine, to actually really get to grips with these people. The characters are so beautifully drawn, so uh, well developed, absolutely marvellous. Um, it's an absolutely great read. I actually think that compared to maybe her other well-known books um, this one is such a great read, but I think I've got better things to come. Um, it's definitely worth a read. You can read it in one sitting. It definitely gives you thought, uh, food for thought. Um, I can't say I particularly liked any of the characters in the book, but I definitely felt like I was under their skin. Um, so yeah, it's definitely well worth a read. She's a brilliant writer and I can't wait, read, wait to read more by her. Um, it'll make me day if you... Put a comment and let me know what you think if you've read any of Toni Morrison. Um, it'd make my day even more if you gave me a thumbs up or even subscribed. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.